my guys here to talk about idle hands. Nineteen ninety nine's Idle Hands. Lee, have you seen this one before? Of course. So you love and know. It's cannibal video. This was in my like list of like go to movies for a while. Oh. I, I think it's I think it's funny. I think it, it certainly stands up on a on a rewatch. And it does have some genuinely good, like almost horror esque moments for like this comedy oh, yeah, horror. Yeah, yeah. That like if you were just picked up on on TV out of context, you'd be like, "What is happening here?" <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like, "What am I watching?" Yeah. No, I think it's super interesting. It stood out at the time. I do think on a rewatch, I can spot a lot of like the flaws and things that are like not structurally like Devin saw his hand. <laughs> good about it. What do you mean? Oh, like you see his hand? <laughs> yeah. You're fine. <laughs> uh, no, this is a, a like uh, well known to me thing. It made a big impact on me and my friend group. We quoted lines from it. Oh, yeah. It was a whole thing. I forgot a lot of it, and yeah, I think on a rewatch, certain stuff like as the movie goes on, it starts to reveal some of maybe it's like cheapness or inability to do certain things. Right? I, it, it's not like a ten out of ten to me like mm -hmm. anymore. But I do. Uh, I'm I'm so nostalgic for it that I can't really change how I felt about it originally. It's a nostalgic right? time like, period. Not even like my yeah. own actual memories of nostalgia for the movie. Like, yeah. I like this time period of movies. Like, that yeah. late 90s, early 2000s just had a different vibe to it. And this one, you know, you got great people. You got Seth yeah. Green, you got Devin Sawa, you got Jessica Alba, uh, mm -hmm. Foggy Nelson, who I'll always call him now. Yeah, uh, which we just call him Foggy like, Nelson. Something with an L. Eldon Henson. Yeah, Eldon. Uh, Great cast here. Yeah, and a bunch of other like smaller cameos by mm -hmm. different people, right? Uh, even that at the time, this to me is like the Seth Green one, or like a lot of his lines. Like if you're like, yes. what's the top twenty lines? It's like nineteen lines from Seth Green. I'm like, yeah, what? Yeah. I'm like, oh my god. So like this made a big impression on me from that perspective, mm -hmm. right? Like you said, this time period. This is ninety nine, right? Ninety nine. So this is like it's like pre nine eleven. It's like stoner stuff. We're having fun. It's horror yeah. comedy. Like I'm like, oh, this is like like I am also nostalgic. I think too. Not just for this exact film, but for like the world of this film, which was shared by 400 other movies. For sure. Right? This, uh, whatever, yeah. All right, guys, so if you've seen this or don't care, false over to spoilers, and if not, pull out now. If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're Cannibal Video and we eat the competition. All right, guys, here we are for the spoilers of Idle Hands. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. I forgot this was a stoner movie. So what I want you to do is take a little Anton time. Oh yeah. I'm not sure how that's possible given everything that that, that takes place in it, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, somehow in my head, I was just like, nope, his hand goes idle, he <laughs> kills his friends, they come back, Jessica Alba's really hot, and uh, the ending is, I forgot the ending. We're supposed to monitor you and make sure you don't revert back to your evil ways. Um, they this, win though. <laughs> this movie, the things that I remember, like, in, in order of like, oh, these things. I remember loving the shot where like he just first wakes up, has headphones on, there's a song playing, and he throws it like it's disgusting. And then puts other headphones on that are playing the exact same song, almost yeah. at the exact same part, and it's like, ah, and then he gets up and walks can, away. Can we pause here? Uh, Devin Sawa in this, Anton, is the coolest motherfucker in the world. And uh, that, I think, was my perspective at the time, and shockingly still is. Because he's a slacker, he's a loser, he's got the awesome, like, he, like, rides the attic stairs down this yeah. awesome way. Like, that whole intro is just him being this, this like, boss stoner slacker of the 90s. I'm like, he's awesome. That, that, that whole thing with the staircase always bothered me because the mother, like, is like, Anton? Anton? Like, Anton? It doesn't actually open it all the way, yeah. uh, and it's closed when he wakes up, but somehow the cat's up there with him when he wakes up. I'm like, how the fuck did that cat get in there? Some sort of secret passageway for cats? I don't like it. Um, no, he's definitely awesome. Um, he played a number of these kind of roles. He's like, and like, I thought he was a boss ever since Little Giant. You're like, oh yeah, that guy's cool. Yeah, put me in, coach. I want to kick some butt. Yeah. And then he's like, in the, the literal the title of the movie, Slackers. <laughs> and there's no angle? And there's definitely no scam. Where he's just this to like the umpteenth degree where he's 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 like mated and bred with Zach Morris to like con his way through college. Slackers. But this movie all this stuff, hit me yes. right in the pocket where I was like, yeah. this is great. Uh, this solidified me thinking that he is a great actor. Sure. Uh, his body movements of hand control, yes. you believe it is possessed. It's shocking. It's, it's fantastic. I'm so glad you mentioned One this. One of the best actors of our generation just based on what he does with his right hand. 
was gonna say the exact same thing, and I figured you would like poo poo it or something. Oh like no, that. no, it is it but, is uh, fact. There's a point where he's fighting with his hand over the remote. <laughs> Uh, yes, and, and like one hand throws it, and then the, the like possessed hand catches yes. it, and he turns to look at it, like what the fuck? Like it was, <laughs> I'm like, this is amazing, and like you know, you know, some of it's just like goofy, like like oh, the hand wants it, and I don't want it to happen. But uh, there's so much of the hand acting. There's personality it so to an well. appendage yes. that is acting opposed to the things he is yes. doing. Like you forget like, that, like, like, like it's yeah, just the, the, that's his know, hand. <laughs> there's a part where he goes to Jessica Alba's like uh, house, mm -hmm. and the hand pulls him over. Over the railing yes. and then leaps at the like doorbell. <laughs> and he's like trying to stop it from reading. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, and then shoots himself over. Yeah, Things like that over. too show where he's yeah. a master of like physical comedy yeah, because there, his face is visible in the whole say, thing. Like, that's he not, is doing those shots. Like that's not CG because Foggy Nelson's head looks like the baby from Twilight sometimes. <laughs> like the CG yeah. is horrible. <laughs> But the then sometimes places. just his head looks like that. And That's I'm, what I mean. Like, his head. Yeah. No, no, no. What I, what I don't, okay. what I want to let me clarify that statement is when it is clearly a CG head that is opposed uh, to attached to his body. Uh, it looked yes, like the baby from Twilight. Ow! What are you doing? Okay. But sometimes he's just like, "Hey, man, how's it going?" And <laughs> kind of looks like that like because that. they put him in some sort of a makeup that, like, I, I don't know what was happening. <laughs> Okay. Or, which would be beautiful, but I know they didn't do, if they would uh, have applied some of that CG makeup bullshit to him when he was regular, she'd be like, maybe his head just weird. I don't know. Maybe his head just looks like that. Yeah, no, like, uh, like, like that scene, because he like tumbles over himself and it's one shot. <laughs> So yeah. I'm like, they didn't spend all their money compositing Devin Sawa into Not this from all. a stuntman. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it, this movie's fantastic. Uh, and, and aside from just the amazing uh, stunt work, hand choreography that is Devin Sawa, we, we have other characters here. As you mentioned, Jessica Alba's in this. This is one of the first things I think that I, I saw her in. Aren't you a little old for Ding Dong Ditch? Uh, I don't know how popular she was before this, but she was definitely popular after this. This was the definitive one, I think, for, for me and like mm -hmm. my group or whatever, where it was like, sure, whatever, yeah. Yeah, her in that angel outfit. Yeah. It's a classic. It, it is a classic. I bet she's going to win best costume. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, after it gets ripped into <laughs> just being brawn and panties. Ah! I love the convoluted plot to kill her. It's like to lift her to the, it's like a Chevy Caprice with a pentagram and they're going to crush her into the ceiling. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the opposite that is like you know his amazing hand acting like like doing things is when the hand is not on him. The hand like still has weight. The hand does things. The hand played by the same hand that was it. Yes. Uh, cousin it from the Adams family, which I Th think is hysterical. Thing. Thing rather. I'm so it, sorry. Yeah, the hairy one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, the guy who played Thing in like the modern Adams family, yes. like the Adams family values, right? Like the uh -huh. movies with whatever the the cat Ra Ra Raul Julia, everybody else, uh -huh. right? Though you know that one. The world's greatest hand model. Once upon a time. So, uh, a hand that we all know and love. Yes. It's, it's such a funny thing to think that, like, 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 and you have people that like, like, uh, like circus who are like, oh, I play all different animals and smeagles and I do things and this thing. Yeah. They're like, I'm a hand guy. That's I only do it. Is there a hand part? That's my part. That's the spirit thing. Lend a hand. Let's go. Yeah, I it, do everything from model watches to walk around dead. His credits are like magician in cemetery. Thing, 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 thing. Idle hands. The hand, it's just hand, 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 uh -huh. hand everywhere. Like, what's going on? Yeah. Yes. So those are some big it's shoes good to fill when you think about him playing his own hand thing here. He's, he's just matching up with a guy that was literally a hand for his whole career. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And I will say it's completely different. Uh, oh, it, it is 100% <laughs> different. It is, it is worse. When he microwaves <laughs> the hand, it turns into like a demon hand. <laughs> Yeah. And that's the excuse to have it be a totally different guy's hand whose finger proportions are totally different. Yeah. Right? It's a whole thing. And they sharpen um, those fingers dude, in the worst pencil sharpener because okay. it's like so fat and sausage wide. But I love it. I love oh, the Oh, no, idea it's, it's a fantastic with, thing, especially the reveal. Like, 
And then other fingers. And then pop all the up. fingers come up. Yeah, the, I was gonna say that reveal reminds me of the reveal in like a Gremlins two uh-huh. when there's like the spider or like when yeah. like little uh, Mogwai, what's his name, uh, Gizmo is like making the like little bow and arrow. It's this uh-huh. weird like bada. This yeah. like reveal. Ah, oh, it's great. I the son of the beach guy, by the way, the, that's in his office. Yes. The, the principal, who must have been cut out of other parts of the movie or something. Yes, okay, yes, yes, like, yes, yes. Um, yeah, there are deleted like scenes in this movie. Okay, yeah, I, yeah. I can't recall if he's in any of them. I, didn't, I haven't watched them since I first got this mm-hmm. movie, so who's to say what's on there? I remember there's something with football um, uniforms. Sure. Regardless. Uh, no, you got, so you got um, uh, Sean Whalen is in this. I'm in book. Yeah. Uh, I, I, w- I liked him. He's been in a couple movies we reviewed in the past. The he lad, was in Tammy yeah. and the T-Rex. <laughs> he was in Python. Please. All right. But you don't say one word. Not one Not word. Not one word. Huh? Uh, and again, he gets to be a, uh, a like sheriff's deputy or, or what have you, or yeah. a police officer, whatever you want to call him. Littering. The biggest loser in the world, him and his friend. Yeah. So let's let's let, let's break down a scene or like okay. a, or like a few you know a dialogue you know exchange. Devin Sawa says, "I remember you guys. You were seniors when I was a freshman." Yep. Yeah, you guys were seniors when I was a freshman. Yeah. And then those two guys, the cops, are upset that uh, they were dorks as seniors. Mm-hmm. And th- th- these freshmen, you know, led by Devin Sawa, never invited them to get yeah, high you're together. skating around. Like, like those what? Real cool. No. Zipping around on your skateboards. Yeah. Thought you were too cool for us, huh? As a senior, to be seen with a freshman under any context was like, whoa, no, 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 no. Aside from dating yeah. them. <laughs> that's, but that's crazy that, like, they are upset that, like, the freshman well, they're stoners nerds, or whatever. So, yeah. Well, I'm saying, like, dude, it, come it on. solidifies their role as, Such oh, you're obviously a nerd. Epic losers. But it's a subtle thing that's not acknowledged by any character. It's just, mm-hmm. like, a thing for us to be like, yes, they're such huge losers that they were pining after the attention yeah. of the freshman stoners. Did you ever, even once, invite us to get high behind the gym? You were dorks. Yeah. Wow. And then he, when he tries to score weed from them, I, I, was, I was like, that's an ultimate badass move right there. Yeah. Any of you guys holding? What? You're, you're trying to score from a cop? The fact that he carries his, his like, pipe around as a inhaler yeah. is, is genius. What the hell is this? Stupid. That's an asthma inhaler. Don't you know anything? I wonder, he, so he must have asthma, though, because his parents would see him with the inhaler and be like, that's his inhaler. Well, you would assume. I don't know. Uh, we never yes. see him and his parents in the same room because they're dead right away. <laughs> but that, the opening is is a creepy good opening. The opening is 10 out of 10. Yeah. Probably just a cat. Oh, Lucy. That and, part and what's that guy's name? He's in Fred a Willard. Yeah, he's fantastic. He, uh, yeah. Who wouldn't help me with the decorations? Uh. Come on. Yeah, he's great. And they have this dumb, like, it's a cornucopia. And there's, there's yeah. such milk toast, white bread, whatever he's, people. He's perfect yeah. as that. That's yes. what he does. It's perfect. The heck is a cornucopia? The, uh, the, the part, so like, you get the ceiling writing, I'm under mm. the bed, right? The <laughs> whole thing. But that's great because she leaves that room, gets chased around, all these dumb things happen. She goes back upstairs. She ends up back in that room trying to call yep. 911. And then the under the bed matters because now they, you know, the killer, we don't know who it is yet, is, yeah. uh, is under the bed. If you need when that bed like crunches and the blood like throws out, yeah. I'm like, oh, it makes no sense once you see what's happening to them later per se. But well, it's a great shot. I love it too much. I to agree. Care. I always had problems with it up yeah. until this watch. For some reason, this watch, I I pictured it differently. Mm. Where I'm, I'm like, no, there's like like she just got pulled into the bed. The killer jerked up to stab and then stabbed, and I'm like, okay, a lot of blood does come out, especially with what the, the injuries are. <laughs> But well, I, it wasn't as, as a kid, it was just as like, oh, she's got pancake water balloon by the bed and she's dead. Like, well, yeah, like it kind of feels like, oh, oh, the bed ate her. <laughs> Some weird thing. Death bed but three. The, the bed that eats. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, yeah, it kind of feels like the bed just like takes a big chomp out of her somehow. Kinda. Right? But at that point in the movie, you don't know what the killer is or no. how it works. So it's a nice, you did see a hand. It's a nice so little you, know, you know, it's a person. But you aside see, from that, yeah, yeah, you see like a person grabbing and pulling her under, but you don't know what's going on yet. So no. hey, it's great. It's this great. The uh, it's it's a good look. I felt like. And this is like the first death that we see as audiences, but other deaths have happened before the movie starts. Yes. Which I think is is so funny that like our character is just this hapless fuck with a murderous hand. I can't keep doing this. Yeah. And, and like 
he's just asleep and it's doing these things is it, such a funny thing. He to doesn't me because know. While he's awake, yes. he is fully on, like, you know, it is fighting him. It is it is doing things against his Now his it wants is, and yeah, but for the last few weeks or days yeah. or whatever. It seems it like it's been, been just doing it while he's been sleeping. Like, it, may, it may slowly get, you know, gain control more and more as it, whatever. I don't know. But that's, I love that, that there were all these murders before. And like yeah. him being a stoner, usually in like a stoner, you know, horror, comedy, whatever, it's just like, ah, he's a stoner and that's it. Here, it's like, you have to believe that he, because they say, don't you watch the news? And he's like, ah, I hate that show. I like, hate that show is a great line. Don't you watch the news? I hate that fucking show. <laughs> Wonderful. And you have to believe that he could really not know about yeah. this, the, you know, there's a curfew, everything is canceled, every parent is like, you're gonna die, and he's just like, what? Like, he has no Maybe idea what's going on. I haven't seen my parents in a few days. Yeah. I haven't seen my parents in a couple of days. Maybe they're dead. Party at Anton's. It's such an interesting thing that like it wasn't yes. weird to him. He's just shouting to no one in particular. I, would, I was just gonna say that because let's put that into context. Mm -hmm. He twice goes, Mom, we're out of dog food. Hey mom, we're out of milk! And just yeah. puts his headphones back on. So for days he's been just screaming, We're out of this, we're out of milk, yeah. we're out of that. Until like, eventually he goes shopping for himself. It's I so guess good. knowing that, like, all right. Just uh, like, well, I guess I don't have parents anymore, whatever. Doesn't think anything of it. This character, you have to believe that he's still wearing the same shirt since then. And you do believe that because it's because of who the character is. The clothing is the most amazing part <laughs> about shaping who this stoner character is. Okay. Everything he puts on stays on. <laughs> he just puts more things just on top things to and never so takes them off again. For the whole movie, yeah. That's at one point he puts on like a temporary disguise of a dead person's outfit that was at their like memoriam thing yeah. and he just runs in and then wears it. And he has it the rest on of the movie. to the end of the movie. Yeah, like yeah, just yeah. keeps putting things on. It's fantastic. Dope. <laughs> He's, the character starts off with no pants and then has those pants on the rest of the movie. Yeah, it's That's, like it's so good. It's like an RPG. He yeah. just goes from town to town acquiring items that just are with him forever. Um, yeah, no, his uh, his uh, you know you know Foggy Nelson is like Let me, even though I'm a totally different size and shape than you, you, you know, yeah. borrow some pants. Hey, you want to borrow some pants, Chief? It's fine. And that kicks off a whole. Well, thing. it was a different time when Baggy was good, so it just made him cool. Hmm. Didn't even have a belt. <laughs> Our lead character is, is possessed, at least in, in his right hand, by, by the devil or a demon or what have you. Uh, and and that, that slowly rounds that and brings more characters into the fold where you guess he has these two best friends. Came all the way over here, you said you was holding. I didn't say what I was holding. But they must become the undead now. Yeah, and I'd forgotten, because I remember like the comeback from the dead. Mm -hmm. That's clear. I, I, I remember the bottle in, in, in the, you know, Seth, yeah. you know, Seth Green's head more than anything else, right? But I've forgotten all the details, right? Uh, they come over, I forget why, but they're over. Um, there's something really dumb that happens where like they watch this music video instead of noticing the dead parents. Yeah. But, but I thought was more like two live crew or something. It's like a it's like a fake two live crew, I think. But yeah, it was is. it? I thought that was like well, like the song I think is fake. Mm. Uh, regardless, it's like but censored yeah, version they are, of the they real are song. distracted by by a music video yeah, that they thought well, wasn't even on TV. Anymore. I thought it, I thought more about it later, and like they go all out decorating. So I think maybe I, I know it's Halloween. Is this like some kind of Halloween gaggers? I mean, your parents always go all out. And at first, they didn't think anything of the two lifeless figures lying there because there are fake mm. things and dummies and all that stuff. But I still think it's dumb because that was like a joke. Like a lot, a lot of the humor in this movie works for me when it's not so much of a joke. It's yeah. like an outlandish thing. I don't think right? they noticed it at all. I don't, yeah. I don't think there's. I think you're reading too much into even assume that their intelligence makes them believe that that was a a. Uh, a decoration of some right. sort. They were so stoned and so con yeah. consumed. They've well, like, they've smoked so much that, that their brains don't work. And that's kind of shined through. Like earlier, we see we see Devin's character, uh, you know, Anton, uh, named after the Anton Levey, uh, the, the the Church of Satan guy, <gasps> uh, making a sandwich, uh, mayonnaise and bologna. Which that's a weird sandwich. Oh my god, the worst uh, sandwich. It's probably delicious, but I've never had it, and it <laughs> seems weird to me. Uh, but he's like just, but like just not paying attention at all. Yeah. And it, it, the knife is this huge, blood-soaked mess. Gigantic, bloody knife. Yes. Yeah. So like the I idea like that he could miss Th that. Those are like the jokes to me that like do not land. That yes. one got me because I, I remember as a kid going like, "Oh my god!" Uh, and then he took a bite. I'm like, "Oh yeah, take a bite!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the, the the sheer genius that is him like washing out his mouth. Yes. No, uh, that's good. I, fantastic. I like, I, I like them spinning it out because I'm like, "Is he gonna eat that? He's eating blood." But yeah. And he spits it out, right? Oh, shit, the killer's here. 
that is like, you know, bookended with like the funniest thing to me when he then, he's like, the killer's in the house! And he runs over to his yeah. dog and he's hugging his dog and the dog's like... <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then he's like... <laughs> like slowly pushing the dog, yes. this giant dog pushing it into the hallway and the dog's like, what? <laughs> is happening? He's like, do you see him? <laughs> this whole thing. <laughs> Report so back! Funny. Yeah, with this like Come with, on, this, Dookie. with this umbrella. Yeah, it's great. That uh, stuff's great when he's running around, tripping on stuff, breaking. He stuff. gets scared it's by good. the end of the bed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, there's a, a fantastic series of events here that I lead to him be... killing his friends. I'm the killer. So his friends well, yeah. start to put it all together. Like he's like, oh look, a clue, and he finds that piece of uh, fabric, fabric in the mom's yes. shirt. A clue. Uh, matches it up with the, the killer was wearing your shirt. The killer was wearing your shirt. I, was I think say, the killer was wearing me. The killer was wearing me. You know, we as the audience immediately know because there's yeah. a huge knock out of out of his shirt, mm -hmm. and then they find that thing, and we go, oh, you know, oh no. So this this is funny to me. This uh -huh. is this is comedy, kids. Uh, where like you know, uh, Seth, you know, Seth, <laughs> you know, Seth Green keeps seeing stuff, and then yes. not thinking that uh, that uh, you know that, that his friend is the killer. Are those ears? No. Ant, ant is written in like That's blood. That's probably the on, funniest on, one. On the ground, it's like, oh, they were killed by ants. Ant? They were killed by ants? And then even that don't thing. Don't be stupid. What do you have? An, do you have an evil ant? <laughs> Maybe you have an evil ant? Please don't be stupid. Do you have like an evil ant? <laughs> yeah, anything but oh, my friend killed these yeah. people. Until finally, he like takes the shirt and puts it up to his shirt. And, and you think, surely, this is it now. And he goes, oh, the killer was wearing your shirt. Yeah. And you're like, what? No, what? No. And then finally they go, uh-oh, it's, you know, because Anton's, you know, hands glowing in the dark now, just like the, yeah. the like, uh, ceiling writing was. Which and he goes, they've oh, never no. seen. No. So like that wasn't a tell for them, but yeah. Well, yeah, but like, uh, you know, it's Anton him, says, yeah. you, know, you know, the killer, the, the killer was wearing me. The killer was wearing me. It works on so many levels uh, across the board. Mostly uh, Seth Green's delivery on things is the humor for me. Yes. Maybe we should clean it first. Hey, yeah. And while we're at it, we can clean the whole fucking house. I think everything that Foggy Nelson says is not funny. And she'd rip your clothes off and make sweet love to you, Red Shoe Diary style. <laughs> Pretty much. I like that character a lot. I've been a big fan of his since uh, Mighty Ducks. Like, just he's he's a he's a cool but guy. This actor, right? Yes, yeah, the yeah, actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Foggy Nelson uh, made a huge impression on me too. Something's off about him. I I feel like, but yes, I I, I got what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, just he, he, there's a lot of like crude humor is his jokes, and while Seth Green are these like what kind of jokes? Yeah. They're and those ones all land. No, Seth Green when he's like, no, it's not like literal. Like, what are you talking about? Idle hands. Like, no, dude. Yeah. What do you mean? Ugh. And all those like, like explainers. When he explains, okay, this is this is what I was getting to. Is I forgot how they were undead. Uh -huh. And even on the rewatch, I'm like, he's burying everyone in the backyard. Like, why don't his parents come back? There must be some like, and and we've already seen the like Vivica A. Fox sassy demon hunter right out of Ash vs. Evil Dead. All right, like, sister Lecca. <laughs> yeah, like 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 driving along. That's liqueur. Debbie's fine. So I'm like, oh, there's gonna be some like, oh, the portal of hell or some something, right? And then he's just like, huh, no, dude. They were all like, go towards the light, go towards the light. And it's like that seemed far as fuck. We were like, fuck that. Come to us, come towards the light. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, we figured, fuck it. I mean, it was really far. And I'm like, wait, you were too lazy to die? You came back from yes. the dead because you're like, ugh, no, do you don't have far that to go towards the light is so far away. Like uh, that's that's it's genius. Amazing it's these little things where like yeah. it seems so obvious, but it's it's so uh, it's it's perfect. It comes yeah. out of the pocket. The first possibly the only time I've ever seen this done where yeah. someone is just simply like fuck it and chooses not to die and comes back. Like I would have loved to flash great. forward to the end, like and they come back as angels this time. Yeah. Uh, and they're fucking with them, whatever. I think we should tell them we painted that on the ceiling. Fuck it. Hey, let's go walk through a nurse. But I, I think this would have been a fun, have a sequel to this movie where, yeah. like, potentially this, uh, this evil hand, you know, takes over people with sloth or, you know, whatever it is. Uh, I it's think, not literal. Uh, no, I think I'm I'm I think that could have been a funny thing. And now, like, he takes over for the the, the girl. Uh, you know, he's Vizuki working Fox's with character. the druid, maybe, right, or something well, happening. When or, it ends, yeah. he has the knife. Because uh, mm. he uses it to cut the strings that Desgalba has. True. So it would be cool if he held on to it and like he's like, he's like, dude, I think it's happening again. And now it's him with like two I'm angels, like, no, crazy, Jessica man. Alba, a dark angel. Look who's here. What can I say, Normal? 
Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. So it's really three angels. Works His name so could have been Charlie. Levels. It's perfect. Okay. Hmm. Best line in the movie, though, I think goes to Jessica Alba. Wow. It's, it's, she says, I know what you're going to say. My parents might take offense to a oh. dirty, bloody boy banging their daughter. My parents might take offense to some dirty, bloody boy banging their daughter. Tomorrow. <laughs> yes. What yes. did you, you think it was? Her character has a lot less depth than I like remembered. And Almost she's none. Kind of a vapid whore. It's kind of weird. I'm like not into it. Thanks. But you should have called. If you need more time with your costume, fine, but I hate waiting. As like an old man. I'm like, huh, this, this kind of thing. Yeah, it is, it is their first actual encounter, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Aside from handing a book once. Thank you so much for returning it. Hey! Uh, and, and he gets into some weird tie my hand to your bed stuff. <laughs> you're kinky. <laughs> and she's like, you're kinky. And I'm yeah. like, oh, like you're very underwritten, like, 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 like laughably so. In, in, oh, in definitely. Because right? it cuts back and he's putting his pants on. You're like, oh shit, that oh. just happened. <laughs> Well, yeah, because she's like, well, she's like, I didn't realize you were, you know, I never expected you to have the guts to grab me like that. That grab and is I'm a like, hell of a grab. Whoa. You're like, whoa. And she like laughs in the middle. I think she like broke a little bit. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure about that scene. Well, he's like I, deep goosing like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Might have inspired a laugh. <laughs> no, I, I think Jessica Alba laughed at Devin Sawa and they were like, that's the take. We need to use that. Doesn't yeah. make sense the way she's Contractually, he can only grab her once. <laughs> Quite possibly. Like that? Yes. Yeah. Literally pulls out a well, she was magician's pregnant after that thing. One. Oh. Think about it. It's, it's, it's illegal. Jessica Alba line that I liked was when uh, he's like, I got in a fight with my cat. And, she, <laughs> and she's like, you got your ass kicked. I was looking for my cat. We got in a fight. <clears throat> You sure got your ass kicked. Something like that. And then Devin Sawa goes, I did okay. I did okay. And like yeah. that made me laugh, that whole exchange. I was like, uh -huh. this is this is this is nice. I like this. Uh -huh. And then his hand just like like making his arm like shut the door and then him and, and him jumping, like, oh no. It's really important to me. <laughs> like all that the stuff. Arm like, does, like, and when it so quick grabs things. the cat and just whips it out the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The pitch that the cat makes. So it goes straight out the window, and then like a <laughs> fucking rocket, it goes up. It goes across the street. Oh, it She lives across does. the street. They established that. Yes, it's crazy. I thought what they had established was that she lived across the street from the friend. <laughs> so like I, the, I don't live across the street. Something, yeah. Because yeah. like he walked. I, it didn't seem like, and maybe I just didn't catch it right. Okay, it's Based a mess. on the direction he walked to yes. get to the friend's house and crawl into the window, which I'm like, ah, cool entry. If your mom had teeth, she wouldn't suck dick so well. What's your point? Uh, and then look Very out the nice. window and see that house. <laughs> it didn't seem like he could possibly be across oh, the street there, from that house. There's a line of dialogue that says, um, I think Seth Green says, she's lived across the street from you for how many years and she doesn't know about your sick obsession or she loves you, some dumb thing like that. I thought he said but me. Molly's lived across the street from you for like what? Ever? But okay. Maybe he did. Say whatever you. he said. So like whatever he said though, the whole thing there is like a mess. Mm -hmm. um, like um, Devin and uh, Alba see um, you know uh, the two stoner friends coming from like mm -hmm. the wrong direction, and they run away to like get to the. It's all a mess. Yeah, you like, see. Like the neighborhood's her. a mess. I thought when he's in the wise. backyard, she's visible, like on her deck or something, like playing the guitar. Right. Oh, what's the matter, Chief? Bad shrooms? Like the whole neighborhood's continuity and like spatial is like a mess. You yeah. can't, it's, it's a uh, non-Euclidean geometry. It Who doesn't would make want sense. To. Exactly. I love the music in this. It's got like great like The soundtrack's things. amazing. Yeah. Like when Rancid, mm -hmm. uh, Unwritten Law, Living End. And love then all, zombie. and then all the popular music. Yeah. No, it was, it was, it's Offspring's a fun, in it. Oh yeah, certainly. I mean, fucking the lead singer dies. You had it for now I'm such a nerd that I recognized Noodles before Dexter Holland. I was like, holy shit, or whatever. And Dexter gets scalped. He has a line or two, and then mm -hmm. yeah, the the hand there. I remember this, and I was like, I think that you know th this might have been their debut of the of the I Wanna Be Sedated whatever cover. Probably. I'm not sure, but I'm like, this is amazing. It, it, may, it may have been done for the soundtrack. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No, and I, I love their cover. Of, I think that's I think it's better than the original, honestly. And that's a hot take. That's a hot take. It I is. I have no opinion on it. <laughs> It's because it's it's like faster. I don't like the remotes that much. I, I'm like I, a new I think school they're they're punk. certainly good, but that yeah. that cover is pretty. Uh... Yeah. 
I love, so he's just killed his friends and they're about to come back to life and you hear them talking and he's like, what the fuck? What? There's talking coming from under the ground. Anton? Anton, can you hear me? What is happening? And, and Seth Green's talking predominantly, which yeah. is the only way it makes sense because he's decapitated the other one. So he's like, he's like, oh man, you winged me pretty good with that bottle. Oh, you must have knocked me unconscious. He's like, like, he's like you think? And he goes, hmm. You're dead. No, I'm not. You cracked me on the head pretty good. I must have been unconscious. You're dead. He's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> It's like, are you sure? It's like, yes! Is this cr yeah, this, this, they're, they're really back and, and then the way they, they are only buried like one foot deep, and they're not like in box or anything, so like their mouths would be full of dirt, like uh -huh. with every, let like just pop up and yeah, head and, emerges somehow. And they have the audacity, especially for Seth Green to have, because of the, the like logistics of Foggy's yeah, yeah. decapitation. But the Seth Green thing, he comes back and is making a face, like I'm an evil zombie, gonna kill yeah, yeah. you, and I'm like, no, no one, what? No, what the fuck? Well, Yes. They were pissed, and I could see them, I them get fucking it. with him. Uh -huh. uh, he hits him in the face with a shovel. He's like, dude, you killed us. We're totally fine. We're even. Right. <laughs> like, whatever. He's a hey! <laughs> Watch it, man. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. He's like, dude, you lied to me. He's like, you killed me. Let's keep this into perspective. For, like, right when Seth Green dies, there's some liquid still in, you know, in the bottle. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Uh -huh. But I think they abandoned that. Like, um, yeah. when he's still, like, not undead, I think he's, like, moving and it makes, like, squishing noises uh -huh. or something. It's so good. Nick, talk to me. I wanted, there's yeah. a part where they're crawling through ducts, Die Hard style, yeah. and his head, like, gets stuck in a little piece of metal, and I wanted, like, and the cap to come off. Yes! But it doesn't come off. <laughs> and I that thought that was amazing. a missed opportunity. That would have been amazing. It, right? Right. You remind me, though, of this third act. When we go to the prom is yes. when I feel like, not corners are cut, but like I, it feels cheaper and worse to me it here. It goes very quick from this, this point. Location. Everything else was like like yeah. at the pace it needed to be for the thing. And this, it's like, it's because like, they, they set a six minute clock, like real quick. Six minutes till midnight. No, a druid time. That's in six minutes. And Just, like, okay, pause though, because when, oh, good, midnight's hours from now. And she's like, wait, it's actually six minutes from midnight in druid time. And that's your yeah. fucking like, in druid time. Oh, God. I, I, I don't think I appreciated that as much at the time as I do now. Because mm -hmm. that to me landed really, really well. I thought that was so Well, it's it also so makes dumb, sense. I, I hate me. how everything is always like midnight in the time zone you happen to be in. Like, what? True. The fuck does. What? Right. This, 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 like, I thought that that is, yes, it's amazing. I didn't. I don't think it's logical or like good, but it made me laugh. It made me like. Oh, no, yeah. Where it's like, yeah, what? Even just to acknowledge that like not everything happens on the same timetable is, yeah. is great. It's not even nine o'clock yet. We got some time. It's actually six minutes till midnight. Drew a time. Something that's really uh, weird and fantastic about this movie is uh, so the guy, like the shout to the devil guy, you're like, my Ford, who's across the street. Randy, all about the heavy metal stuff. neighbor that yes. every stoner movie has. And yes. then the Jessica Alba's friend is dressed like the devil. I can't drop that. On this set, the two of them meet and, and like found out that they are like stepbrother and sister, and like didn't didn't know somehow. Oh my god, and they had sex. I don't, I don't, I don't think I don't, that part happened. I don't know if they did. That was probably a mistake. No kidding. That's yeah, crazy. I read that. I was like, what? They realized they were siblings, like like on the, this set. Okay, Randy, the heavy metal neighbor who, who's who's working on you know on his Ford. I stare at his face and I'm like, I know you. Who the fuck are you? He's several people, but he's uh, Baby Bear from from Event Horizon, the guy that walks into the airlock. Hello, tell them to open the door. They can't do that, Justin. Uh, Holy the, shit! The, the pimples explode because he ha because he has a face that really. And I'm like, I've stared at 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 your face before. And that's yeah. not like me. And yes, Event Horizon guy. I'm like, oh shit, great. He's not, but he reminds me of the guy from. Uh, and, and this is an insulting reminds. Yeah. He reminds me of the redheaded guy from the Burbs. <laughs> Pretty girl. Friend of yours? No, it's game with the frame. Like, I'm like, hey, you put makeup on that guy? I think he could do it. <laughs> I don't remember that guy. 
But, uh, <laughs> He's a, in, but I'm in sure it's dude. insulting. Yeah, yeah. That's what's important. Yeah. I like him, though. I like him a lot. He I did a good job. He here. says certain things. I liked his turning around because he, he's one of those, like, like you even see some of his dumb friends and they get killed. Yeah. In a way where I'm like, how is the hand doing this? this is oh, crazy. no. The, the hand um, does a lot of things where you're like, what is happening? Once it's, once it's uh, arm capitated or yeah. whatever, I'm like, what's going on here? Um, but yeah, you like see his friends who are like very dumb and, and he's like smarter than the average, uh, whatever his clique is, the, the, the metal kids. But he something. essentially is the same as those cops in terms yeah. of, of his nerdiness or oh, whatever he sucks, because yeah. he graduated four years ago and he's hanging out with them and at the best case they're seniors because they go to the dance well so, but he's not hanging at well okay true. they're bowling together you coming randy no no uh i think i could find myself a ride all right okay yes you know him and and like the metal people i yeah. guess i guess that's true were they going to the thing Maybe everybody was going because, like, he cause, says, "Don't you guys because, have a dance to go to?" And they yes. they go to the dance. Hey, don't you guys have a dance to go to? Oh, that's right. We gotta do our costumes. Because Randy, to me, was that's a funny name, I guess. But he was like the character, who, you know, you know, who was like, "I love high school girls. I keep yeah. getting old. They stay the same age." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get older. They stay the same age. Because <laughs> he's trying to pick up try. people. He's, yeah, because he's like, "Oh, when did you?" Ironically, you years ago. his sister. <laughs> You're still in high school. Yeah, me, I got out about three years ago. Awkward. That's the same girl. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I love the bagel guillotine when he's like, I gotta cut my hair. I gotta, I gotta cut it off. He resorts very quickly to a very altruistic, like, no, if yeah. I cut this off, I can stop this. They're murdering things. My family's dead. Fuck off. Uh, that thing doesn't even cut my bagels. Then like, he just like, ching, just, like just, bends around it, his hand. It just bends. Like, what, is he, what, what could that possibly be that it's that weak? He doesn't get a cut at all. Yeah. There's not even like a red line. No. no. That's, a, that's a shitty... Like late night kitchen appliance yeah, for you TV buy, bullshit. and they call it out. Like, that doesn't even work on bagels, right? And then and then it doesn't work on his hand at all. Those things won't even cut my bagel. Um, yeah. So you mentioned that it's quick. I had the same feeling, and I went and checked, and he cuts his hand off around fifty something minutes into this ninety minute movie. <gasps> he screamed like a girl. But I still think it's too quick. I'm not sure when he should have done it, but I feel like there's way too much movie after the hand gets cut off. I think any part and, uh, where the hand is just killing things arbitrarily yeah. didn't need to be in the movie, and you could have had more of just the group doing fun things. Right? I feel like there should have been another point of conflict, perhaps with, you know, with our you know, you know, son of the beach principal or something like that. Mm -hmm. Should have been some reason, some something in there. More covering up. Because once he's missing a hand, like I, 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 I suspend my disbelief. I'm not like, oh, he'd be in shock and the blood or the iron's not enough that doesn't work the iron like, doesn't make sense because he comes out of the room with the iron we gotta cauterize that wound so i saw it on fucking er or some shit so how you doing oh, i gotta stop the blood flow don't you ever watch er if let's know assume he say. even plugged it in yes. like or i guess what we have to assume is that he found it plugged in it was just waiting there yeah. and with a mom so paranoid about candles there's no way I was just gonna say. she's leaving an iron plugged in especially for days Gary, you said you... The house could burn down. I was just going to say, because there's something there, right? Where the iron could have been plugged in the whole time. Yeah. And it's like, after all the candle bitching or whatever, uh -huh. right? Yeah, regardless, yes. No, eh, I feel like once the hand is cut off, things get worse in like a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. He has to believe. Like, like Jessica Alba goes to touch and he's like, ah! Fast food employee that uh, cut off his own hand. Cute. And all that stuff. I'm like, this yeah. is this is a, a horrible wound, and you're just taking it in stride. Oh, yeah. And it's a comedy, and 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 I get that. But you know, like the payoff of the, the 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 like you know you know removed hand killing people is not good enough to make it worth it for me. Sure. So I don't I, I don't like this part of the movie. But it, that like you know that is the movie. Like, I that's know. What people came to see. You know, like, Fuck him. Oh, his hand. Everyone should be disappointed, including me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he backs into the into the Vivica Fox characters like, what the hell was that? Anta! Wait! No! Oh, like, I thought she died there because of how it plays out. And I was She shoots a thousand feet, like. Yes. <laughs> And I thought, like, that's hilarious. They're so dumb that, like, even the force coming to save them, they just accidentally get rid of it or something. Yeah. But she's fine. Yeah. 
I think I heard him say he, he, he didn't know how to drive up until he was like in his like late 20s. It's lucky. Shit. Couldn't be automatic. Which I don't think he's in his late 20s here, so I don't mm. think he knew how to drive. Yeah, stuntman. You want me to drive? No, just, just shift for me. So we get the titular line in this movie. I always enjoy when that happens, when oh, someone yeah. says things. Uh, from our, uh, our devil worshiper, Randy. Idle hands are the devil's playground. This is another bad part of the movie when he goes to Jungle Burger or whatever. Oh my it is. god, he's just not noticed. Hey, who are you? Uh, new uh, drive-through duty. Like, yes. like what? You're you're in a food prep area, like, and then everyone's like, "Who are you? What are you doing here?" Oh, I'm the new guy. I'm doing this. I don't even care about the realisticness of it. I just feel like everything grinds to a halt. Break time. All right. Yeah. We established that that Randy's horny and whatever, mm. and more about the deaths and and crying Tanya, who later gets uh, you know turned into a, like you know like a red paste. But like, it just feels like I'm like this scene should be cut out because he goes to the kitchen and it cuts to like, oh, there's there's knives, there's hot oil, there's this, and his hand's like, yes, kill the people. And he's like, no, no. And it's this big dumb thing mm. just, just so we can have the conversation where Randy says, no, man, I used to be like that too. I used to be like that. Get into all kinds of stupid shit. Idle hands are the devil's playground. You gotta give yourself something to do. You gotta do whatever. I don't know, something about the absurdity of the scene, I yeah. like it. That's I think true. I think it's, it's absurd. It's so ridiculous. There's the like whoever must be working the drive through is also just like making hamburger patties or something. There's just a big bowl of ground beef just sitting there. I who, uh, Beethoven? As if he were gonna be like, and, here you go, sir. Yeah, and he just, just like puts his hand into it. Like, yeah. The thing's like, like so let me ask you a question here. This is you now. All of a sudden, your, uh, your, your non-dominant hand has become possessed. Oh, we, no. What would you do? I have no idea. Ha has it killed everyone I know yet? Let's say it's killed somebody, so you know it's real. Okay. Uh, I'd probably try other stuff before I, like, cut it off. Well, and like he did, he he tied it for a moment. That did seem to be very successful. So I don't know why he didn't just ever try to like just duct tape yeah. it into a fist so it can't grab death right. implements. Just turn it into a giant. Because uh, it, it can of only if it can only control one hand, and if you duct tape that bitch into a ball, that's trapped like that forever. Like, yeah, part of me immediately went, you know, went, you know, went to like, what if I put it in the freezer? Is it is it like a reptile? <laughs> you know, will, will it get slower and weaker in there? How does that work? But yeah, I feel like you could have bound it or something like that. But I don't know what the or rules are. Or at least make are. an attempt because it it like moves his arm and like moves his face at one point, right? Like I don't know really all the details here, right? Well, yeah. Well, and neither would he. But he went right to cut it off. Well, which I, was potentially a mistake. But like, I even like how him cutting it off doesn't even, cause like Seth Green walks in and goes like, well, how are you gonna cut off the other one? And he's like, oh no, this, 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 you know, this one's a keeper. It's the only thing I can think of. Well wait, once that hand is gone, how are you gonna cut off the other one? Oh, the left one's a keeper. Like they don't even know what's going on in the yeah. movie to the point where they know what's going on, right? So it's this weird. Well, because you know, one is less lazy than the other one. I know. <laughs> I use this one to pack my bowl. I use this one to relieve some tension. Use the remote. Yeah. This is a keeper. This one's like, oh, this one's the keeper. No, it's only this one. Yeah, but like that, like him having to explain that to Seth Green. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you've been here the whole time. You know what's happening. Yes. Anton, I've got to ask, what's with the hand? <sighs> it doesn't obey me at all. He's also very dumb, though. That's what I'm saying. It has also been very much established. Plays really well. <laughs> oh, look at me! Look at me! I'm Leatherface! But he doesn't say, you're an idiot. He says, no, this one's a keeper. <laughs> Ever. That's what's great. Yes. I think it's also great when, like, the hand is in a puppet. It's... <laughs> This goofy fucking puppet. This kind of redeems. And it. and that puppet like the has facial expressions. <laughs> yes. It changes. It gets high. When... <laughs> and he blows smoke into it. Went uh, went. Hot pie. Gotta get my spinach. I need some spinach. When you see the puppet turn its head, and now it's all high version mm. of the puppet, something about that joke, that exact joke, that you have a puppet 
something happens to it, and now it's a different puppet where sewing and felt and glue's involved just mm -hmm. to indicate its expression when that makes no sense in the in, in like the real world or whatever. Yeah. Um, I is so funny to me. I love it so much. And you mentioned the I I, I need some spinach line. Literally, not me. People I was with smoking weed. Someone said mm -hmm. that at at some point. Oh sure. I'm almost totally positive. Dude, sitting in the bushes, man. Does he have a gun? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh yeah, um, that's a popular one. And several other things like that. I'm just like, this movie had an impact on the slang of, of, of the time, I think. Which says a lot. I'd say that Seth Green in general had, had, has a, an effect on vernacular and bullshit between this, Can't Hardly Wait, uh, yeah. you know, him being uh, Dr. Evil's son. You give me five seconds, I'll get it. I'll come back down here, boom! I'll blow their brains out. Like, mm. he swung in hard in this time period. Exactly. Exactly. Hi. Yeah, there's something wrong with my friend. I think he took some nutmeg or something. Yeah, honestly, one line that stuck with me that I didn't use that much, but that I often think about, is when Seth Green's like, no, Kevin Costner speeches, let's just go. I mean, all I do is I, I sit around all day, I veg out, I watch TV, I smoke pot. No, 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 no Kevin Costner speeches, all right? Let's just go. Something like, yes. something about that, and I, because I remember, even, like, now it's even worse, but at the time I was like, is Kevin Costner the right person? Like, what is going on? This line is so strange. Yeah, but he it, gives but, speeches. But it works for me so much, yes. I, I'd I was say, like, down the postman probably is one of the most yeah. legendary speeches he's given. No, and like he was in a lot of movies mm -hmm. and uh, maybe at that time more of them, but it still strikes me as such a strange line from that character. Just something about it. I'm, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, Dances with Wolves, Tin Cup. You know. Him and Dane Cook murdering Costner. people. <laughs> oh, now you're talking. You don't think I have the guts to do this, do you? No, I'm hoping you do, Mr. Smith. So I love her as this demon hunter character like mm. so much. Everything from like the RV. <laughs> And like the pentagram, like, oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's like, oh, on the like, map, like, thing, like it's so exist. goofy and great. Yes. Um, when she's like gonna go like kill him with the knife and they realize his, his, you know, he cut off his hand. Oh, shit. I cut it off. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> In unison. Oh, yeah. shit. That was a bad idea. You think? You're oh, a pistol. Stuff. Time for the ritualistic sex. You coming? You are a pistol. Oh, he, yeah, no, I like I, I like the development there. An, uh, another scene that stuck with me is, is, is when she's the nun early on. Sister Liquor. I'll tell you, Sister Liquor. That's liqueur? Yes, and uh, and fucking uh, the like redneck looking guy yeah, with his in the jail hand. cell, yeah, with his weird fingered hand and all that stuff. And she's like, "Ah, oh, it's gone." And I was like, "Oh shit!" Like something about that clicked yeah. for me a lot. So when it happened, I was his like, eyes oh. are all fucked up too. Yes, he's like drained. He's seeing some shit. He's drained of his essence or something. <sighs> Takes a lot out of you being possessed by an it evil certainly does. demon. But this Believe implies this implies that like it would have run its course with Devon Sawa and jumped again or something. It's very Once it takes someone to hell, I believe. Oh, there you go. Once it fulfills its I think whatever. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, which um, I wonder how many people it's jumped back and like it just like jumps into the pool, takes a body back, jumps into the pool, takes a body back. It's very prolific. Yeah. It's Until do, it's now. Do. The evil force that possesses the laziest fuck up it can find. It will kill as many people as possible and then drag a free soul into the netherworld. The cops are, are pretty great from, from like all their involvement in like you know the original like uh, stop and giving them a ticket thing mm. to their deaths <laughs> I love the like nice try these aren't even my pants empty your pockets boy yeah nice try but they're not even my pants let's go <laughs> Right, as if that gets that's him some out sort of, of great thing. defense. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty good. He steals a dollar from him. Mr. Washington's found a new home and like puts it in his thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. George's found a new home. Uh, Sean Whalen. Their Sorry. deaths are really good when it's like, cough me, put down the knitting needles, cough me, do this, cough me. No, and it cuts to like Seth Green like looking back and forth. Put him down, cough me, 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 cough me. It's like watching them uh, and stuff, it's great. You don't want to go to jail, do you? I think, uh, I think you should uh, kill him. Well, he, he shot Foggy in the fucking head. Yeah. Had to die. I think he should. Ah! I was gonna say I think you should do what the officers tell you, but now I changed my mind. I was gonna say do this, but now I think you should kill him. Yeah. He stabs one of them through the ear with his knitting needle, and the and other cop gets <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sean Will and gets gets fucking tasered to the face until his head's like barbecued. Well, Not a chance, baby snakes. Who says that? Uh, now I forget. It's either either him, I think I think Jessica Alba says to him. 
on a chance baby snakes. No, he says he says it to her. Maybe she's like, "You're not gonna stand me up, are you?" Oh, that's it. Yeah. He's like, "Ah, oh, I have to go back home. Oh God." Ugh. Yeah, that whole business is weird. I, I love the the line. Uh, God, don't be so greedy. You're like, you know, like not everyone's parents are dead or something like that. Sorry. Don't be selfish, Anton. No one else's parents are dead. You're not gonna chill at my place later. Come on, man. Don't be so selfish. Uh, the part where Foggy eats the burrito and it comes out of his neck. Yeah. I remember that too. Cause that's really gross. That and weird. is gross. But I like the idea that that like Seth Green is like. Um, Oh, we can fix that because he's already impaled his head on the barbecue yeah. fork thing, right? Which it doesn't make like, sense how it could possibly be centered. No. But it's like, this is all kind of working. He's like, okay, like you're my project. This has been getting on my nerves. We're going to fix this now. Oh, I, I can fix that too. Hold on. And he's like adding to it. When he's when Foggy's making out with Tanya uh -huh. and he's like, dude, dude, stop. That's not that. You're dead. That's like illegal. Like, stop it. This whole thing. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. You know, think about it. It's, it's, it's illegal. At when, when Foggy's dancing and he's like, oh, be careful. It's not on too. It has quickly. to hold his head. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was funny and uh -huh. a nice little attention. To I think... <laughs> careful, it's on kind of loose. Cool. Yeah. He has his hand on his head as he's making out with the girl too. He he's like well trying might. to keep the... Oh God, that's disgusting. I would have liked to see him eat the cheesy poofs and the cheesy stuff come out of his neck hole. It's more, more neck hole like stuff. Like when he was just laying on the couch, just the head, because he was yeah. throwing them into his mouth. Had to go somewhere. <laughs> How is he even talking? It makes no sense. Well, he even gets one line out when he actually dies with his head decapitated. That's realistic. <laughs> He says it more like, oh, it's not cool. He says it like kind of like that. I'm like, okay. Still. No, it's, I mean, n none of it makes sense. I'm not the killer. Okay. You know? Yeah, I know. But, but I mean, if OJ could get off, then I'm sure. I like how they have the, like the American Gothic style, uh, like two jack-o'-lantern people that then become oh. the parents. And then Devin like, like trips on like an umbrella, knocks them over, reveals yeah. who they are. I think that's great. Oh, the reveal's really good because the, the, the like pumpkins burst open yeah. and then it's like, oh, it's his dead parents. You know, the mom's missing the eye that he saw the they cat saw playing earlier. with, right? It's like, okay, cool, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And like, the, the, like something about that, like this movie's much uh, funnier and looser than I remembered, but I remembered the concept of like, oh, these people go all out for Halloween, and for days the parents have been the like rotting corpses that yeah. have been in the house or whatever. Oh, shit. Yeah. Until Foggy comes across him and tries to bring him back to life by just like ham fisting him <laughs> in the chest. And he's like, come on, that's my dad! Someone tries to be like, oh, I saw it on Baywatch. That's, that's borderline elder abuse. What the fuck are you doing, man? That's my dad, come on! CPR, man, I saw it on Baywatch. So all in all, I think it's pretty good. Like I said, the third act gets weird. Uh, I don't like the message or whatever it's supposed to. It, it, it almost has a message. That your dead friends will help you if you murder them? That is just a truth that everyone just knows, but it's nice to be reminded every now and then. Uh, no, Anton's like, you know, Seth Green is like the devil on Anton's shoulder. You gotta uh -huh. take some Anton time. Listen, you cut off the hand, no more problems. It's not your problem anymore, all right? Chill, relax. And he, and and there's this like growth moment where he's already established, you know, like the eulogy. He says like, yes. you know, I remember all those times we just sat around doing nothing and, uh, is that all we did? Like, oh no. Nick, Panab, guys, you guys were the greatest. I mean, I'm never gonna forget the way we sat around all day, watched TV, and got really stoned. And all those other times where we just, I guess that's all we did. Like he's coming to grips, coming to terms with this idea of a wasted that like, life. yeah, that I'm like a waste of life stoner, and now he's gonna do something finally, right? And ironically, he's gonna use weed to like save the day or something like that. But uh, I don't know. Just the way it ends, it feels like that's not even a thing. It's just a dumb. Everyone gets rewarded for everything, even people that do bad things. Like there's, yeah. not, there's nothing going on. There's, there's yeah, no, they get into heaven even though no they, they abandoned heaven. No, we're your guardian angels. And yeah. they're not good people. And he gets crushed by the car coming down, but gets, but like, and gets a full body cast. He has a full, a full body cast. <laughs> and is like rewarded with, with Jessica Alba. Yeah. Which is a little creepy to say out loud, I guess. But it's sort of like, whatever. I can't believe you blew off heaven to kick it with me. I can't even believe it. You blew off heaven to kick it with me. You are the coolest. MVP best actor, Devin Sawa's uh, right hand. I'm impressed. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to cannibalvideo.com, pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers.